just going to go out until it disappears. And good, that's flush. I'm going to build a pattern here so that we can shape on the shaper the outside of this loop so we can save Mike quite a bit of carving work. First I'm going to glue this piece of paper down. This has a drawing on it that has the outside edge of this bottom level section of the blue, and then I've continued it out along here. We're going to bandsaw this away, and I'm going to start the ball bearing of the router setup right along here. We'll run the ball bearing right around here. When it gets to here, it'll cut around the outside of the blue like that. So the first thing I'm going to do is attach this paper to the plywood. right through this point here and we're going to use a screw through this hole to fasten the level part of the volute to the jig but it's important that I go through this hole because this hole is actually at the focus of the spiral it's actually the center point where the spiral goes right around and disappears and that's going to be where my uh, volute newel goes so we're going to use this point to locate the one inch hole we drill in the bottom of the volute to catch the volute newel Then I'm going to drill another series of holes on the center of this just so we can screw this thing really solidly down. Mm -hmm. 